EV manufacturers, brace yourselves, a game-changing innovation has hit the scene. Canadian electric car parts powerhouse Magna has just unveiled their latest ace in the hole, a cutting-edge high-RPM electric motor. This sleek new motor promises to pack a punch with a lightweight design, double the power, and jaw-dropping efficiency that leaves most other motors in the dust. Enjoying the content? Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss out on our latest updates. Join us for more insights and exciting news, be part of the community today. But first, let's talk about Magna, a name that might not ring a bell but one you should absolutely know. Magna isn't just some obscure company, they're a global titan in the world of vehicle parts manufacturing, consistently ranked among Canada's corporate giants. Magna has been in the business of powering the automotive world for decades. Industry heavyweights like Mercedes-Benz, BMW and Ford have long relied on Magna for their top-notch parts. As the EV revolution started to rev its engines, Magna saw the future and hit the gas. They poured massive resources into developing must-have components for electric vehicles, positioning themselves as a front-runner in the EV parts game. Today, they're a major player in the EV landscape, producing cutting-edge electrical systems for a long list of big-name manufacturers. For instance, BMW sources its mirror controls, seating electrics, and other peripherals straight from Magna's arsenal of expertise. It doesn't stop there. Magna's reach extends even further. Ford and Volkswagen trust them for key EV components, while Mercedes-Benz EVs are powered by complete Magna-designed powertrains. And here's the kicker. Jaguar handed Magna the key to the F-Pace and I-Pace, giving them full control over these flagship models. That's right, Magna isn't just a behind-the-scenes player, they're steering the future of EVs. One of Magna's crown jewels is their legendary E-Drive powertrain, a revolutionary system first unleashed in the 2000s. The Magna E-Drive flipped the script on EV powertrains with its groundbreaking design, delivering not just insane potency and efficiency but also making manufacturing a breeze. One of the key reasons why companies like Stellantis, Tata, Mercedes, and many others go to Magna to produce their EVs, is the fact that the E-Drive is one of the easiest EV systems to install in a vehicle, be it an EV or a hybrid. For example, the Jaguar y -Pace we've previously mentioned uses two complete E-Drive systems, as well as power electronics and integrated drive units, meaning this entire platform is built from the ground up using only Magna's parts. This is also true for the new Fisker Ocean, which uses its powertrain and is also made entirely by Magna. Some vehicles, like the Volkswagen ID, 4, are built from the ground up too. However, unlike the previous two, this one was developed by Volkswagen themselves and they partially use the E-Drive system, showing how easily it can be integrated with vehicles that aren't designed for it specifically. The BMW Y3, on the other hand, uses the E-Drive system too, albeit the platform itself is developed or shall we say adapted from the regular X3, showing that the E-Drive is a powertrain that can be used without any restraints. That potency was brought to an even greater level earlier this year with the introduction of Magna's new electric motor. Magna's previous electric motor was regarded as one of the better ones on the market, with 400 volts, its remarkable 91% efficiency, a 2 kilowatt per kilogram power-to-weight ratio, and a 16,000 RPM limit. The motor was solid but ultimately unimpressive. It's for this reason that the I-Pace isn't regarded as either the best or the worst EV out there. It's just, well, in the middle. For example, it was outfitted with two E-Drive units, meaning two electric motors, which granted it a total of 400 horsepower. Not bad, but far from, say, a Tesla Model Y performance. Plus, it also had a relatively mediocre range of only 280 miles due to subpar battery management, which is something Magna is generally known for. Now, this isn't a rule. However, most manufacturers tend to do so nowadays. As a result of all this, an 800-volt E-Drive will be noticeably more expensive than the 400-volt E-Drive, which means that this will most likely be reserved for higher-end models. Now, this might seem like a bummer to you, however this is a fairly common practice among EV makers. Furthermore, there is also the issue of recharging the vehicle. Sure, an 800-volt system can be recharged much faster, but only if the charger allows it. Since 90% of EV models, and an even greater percentage of EVs on the road in general, utilize the 400-volt architecture, most chargers have been tailor-made for them. As a result, you'll hardly see the benefits most of the time, if ever. Oh, and there's also the issue of production. 
Sure, Magna is a big company, however, it will certainly have to convert some of their assemblies from the 400-volt E-Drive to the 800-volt version, which will ultimately lower the profit somewhat as the latter will be used on a somewhat smaller scale. However, all these issues are a regular occurrence for developing technologies. Back in the early 2010s, the landscape for electric vehicles was vastly different from what we see today. Charging stations were a rarity, and finding a place to power up an EV often required meticulous planning, patience, and even a bit of luck. Early adopters of EVs had to deal with a sparse and often unreliable charging infrastructure, making long-distance travel a significant challenge. In many cases, owning an EV meant being tethered to home charging or relying on a handful of public stations that were few and far between. However, fast forward to today, and the situation has improved dramatically. Now charging stations can be found on nearly every street corner, in shopping malls, parking garages, highway rest stops, and even workplaces. With the rise of high-speed chargers, the once-dreaded long charging times have been significantly reduced, making EVs far more convenient and practical for everyday use. It's important to note that the transformation of the EV industry has not been driven solely by the expansion of charging networks. Another key factor is the evolution of EV technology itself. Unlike in the past, when electric mobility was still in its infancy, today's advancements are based on decades of research and innovation. The transition to more powerful, efficient and cost-effective EV systems is not about reinventing the wheel, but rather refining and modernizing what already exists. This means manufacturers do not have to build an entirely new infrastructure from scratch. Instead, they can focus on improving and optimizing the current systems to make them more efficient, scalable, and widely accessible. One of the most promising developments in this regard is the shift toward 800-volt architectures in EVs. While this technology is more complex to manufacture at present, history has shown that as production scales up, complexity tends to decrease. Over time, processes become more streamlined, supply chains mature, and manufacturers find ways to cut costs through economies of scale. This has been the case with virtually every major technological advancement, from combustion engines to lithium-ion batteries, and it will undoubtedly hold true for high-voltage EV powertrains as well. Additionally, the increasing use of advanced materials such as silicon carbide and gallium nitride is expected to play a significant role in enhancing the efficiency and performance of 800-volt systems. These materials offer lower energy losses, improved thermal management, and greater overall reliability, making them ideal for the next generation of EVs. As more automakers adopt 800-volt systems, the technology will become more widespread and eventually reach a tipping point where mass adoption drives costs down even further. Initially, 800-volt platforms will likely be reserved for higher-end models due to their current premium pricing. However, as seen with other technological advancements such as regenerative braking and high-capacity batteries, what starts as a luxury feature often trickles down to more affordable models over time. In the near future, we can expect that most mainstream EVs will come equipped with 800-volt powertrains, while 400-volt systems will be reserved primarily for budget-friendly, entry-level electric cars. The ongoing progress in EV technology is a testament to the industry's ability to adapt and innovate. Just as the once-scarce charging infrastructure has now become ubiquitous, the transition to high-voltage systems will follow a similar trajectory. As a result, consumers will benefit from faster charging, greater energy efficiency, and improved vehicle performance, all at increasingly competitive prices. The electrification of transportation is no longer a distant vision, but an accelerating reality, and with companies like Magna leading the charge, the future of EVs looks brighter than ever.